Hi everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to talk about some accessibility features that are new to the Chromebooks. Now this is specifically for Chromebooks, and it came out with a recent Chrome OS update. And first of all, before we get into that feature and it's select to speak, I want to talk about how you can easily access your accessibility features on the Chromebook. So you want to hover over the lower right corner and you should get a taskbar that pops up. And so you want to click on that corner that's got the clock and the network that you're on or whatever. So if you do not see accessibility readily available to you, then you're going to need to go to your settings and toggle that on. So you would click the gear, it's going to bring up the Chrome OS settings and you want to go to the advanced settings. So just toggle that little arrow and then you go to accessibility. If this is not toggled on, then you do want to make sure that that is toggled on. You can access the accessibility features through the settings here, or once this is toggled on, then you can access it in the lower right corner. So when I pop that up, now I have the accessibility features. And if you click on that down arrow, it's going to give you the different features available. So today I want to talk about select to speak, which is fairly new. And I do have it checked. If it's not checked for you, then just go ahead and click on that. And there's some other tools here that you may want to look at um, to see if I click on dictation. Notice that it popped up these little icons down at the bottom that's going to control these accessibility features that I have enabled. So there's my select to speak. There's my dictation. I'm going to turn off the dictation for now. So once that is enabled, then once you hover over the bottom, you're going to see that select to speak. So I do have the declaration of independence. I'm here. This is a website talking about that. And I'm going to hover over and make sure it is enabled. I have a line through it. So it's not enabled at the moment. So you can toggle that off and on easily there. So once I click that on, then I will select some text on the website and it should start reading. The Declaration of Independence was designed for multiple audiences, the king, the colonists, and the world. It's in that wonderful Google style, but notice that the toolbar for the Select to Speak popped up at the time. I can, it has some different features here. This is next sentence or the previous sentence, and this goes to the next paragraph. So you do have some um, controls for how it's read to you or where you're reading. It also has some speed. You can do um, slow or you can speed it up. Um, that's up to the user. Um, so again, this is a customizable experience. I have noticed I cannot select a just a single sentence. So it's going to select a paragraph. If you do select a sentence, it's going to read that whole paragraph unless you stop it. So, um, but it's real easy. It's to pop up and it should be anything that's on the page um, or on a website that these students are looking at. So I wanted to give you a heads up for the select to speak. And again, um, very limited controls as far as the voice um, that you get. So it's a very typical um, Google voice. So um, check it out. Check out some of the other accessibility features and let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a great day.